So if you find yourself with the opportunity to go up a skyscraper or to get to a high elevation, then within urban landscapes, there's a wealth of opportunities that you can exploit to get some really creative images. Firstly, you've always got to watch out for other tourists or other people getting in the way of your photographs. You may just have to pick and choose your opportunities. If in this situation you've got a photograph through glass, you can get yourself this rubber collar which affixes to the end of your lens and if you press it up right against the glass it'll cut down on any kind of reflections or a lot of glare that may otherwise kind of come through from the sun or, or any other ambient light. So they're really useful to get hold of. They're, they're pretty cheap and they kind of fix generally to most lenses. If you want to cut down on any of morning mist or any haze that may be appearing, especially if you're up really high and even above cloud level in some instances, using things like a UV filter or a polarized filter if it's early morning will help kind of cut down on that haze a little bit, unless you obviously want to keep the effect. You can also use the dehaze tool in Lightroom to just cut down on those effects a little bit further as well. When it comes to composition, just try and have a look around, see if you can still use a rule of thirds, if you can look for leading lines like roads or rivers or, or particular landmarks to try and make a feature out of in your photograph. If you actually shoot downwards towards the floor, especially if you're up really, really high like we are here, then you can sometimes get images where you can capture blocks of buildings and create shapes and you can get different cross sections of the actual overall landscape as well, which are sometimes a little bit abstract if you zoom really close in, but it's also offering a completely unique perspective. In terms of creative shots, it's also good to have a look at using things like your graduated filters, especially if you're up really high and you've got half of your images about the cityscape and obviously a lot of it then will be mostly about the sky. So using a graduated filter will just reduce the amount of exposure in the sky. You can also use a blue filter, which will add a little bit more saturation to the colors in the sky, as well as gray ones, which can have a little bit more definition to clouds as well.